India's state-owned defense research and development organization DRDO has unveiled the plan to build and launch a high-performance electronic intelligence satellite capable of monitoring trouble spots along its international borders. In particular, Indian Defence Forces will be in a position to obtain a fairly good intelligence picture of build-up across the border in China and Pakistan by courtesy of this exclusive reconnaissance spacecraft. Indeed, the massive intelligence failure before and during the short-lived 1999 Kargil skirmish with Pakistan highlighted the need for a dedicated spy satellite system at the disposal of the Indian Defence Forces. Communication-centric intelligence satellite is an Indian advanced reconnaissance satellite It will be India's first officially declared dedicated spy satellite. While the payload of this satellite is to be developed by the Hyderabad-based Defense Electronics Research Laboratory DLRL a constituent of DRDO, the satellite bus and launch support would be provided by ISRO Indian Space Research Organization. DRDO is in talks with ISRO to take this project of national importance forward to its logical conclusion. According to G. Bhupati, director of DLRL, the satellite would be equipped with sensors to pick up conversations and detect espionage activities. The $1,000 million satellite is planned to be launched into a 500 km orbit by means of the four-stage Space Workhorse Solar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV from City Shtiwan Space Center in Sriacharikota Island on India's eastern coast. Incidentally, most of the spy and surveillance satellites are placed into near-Earth and Middle-Earth orbits. The spacecraft should be ready for launch said Bhathi. He drove home the point by saying that the focus is now space and we have to equip ourselves for electronic warfare from space too. He also revealed that the proposed satellite will be more powerful than the current genre IRS series of Earth observation satellites being operated by ISRO as pointed out by sources in DRDO. The electronic intelligence system on board this satellite would help keep an eye on hostile satellites besides intercepting and jamming sat phone communications. At the moment, Indian Defence Forces don't have a dedicated satellite system for surveillance, reconnaissance and intelligence gathering. Of course, all three wings of the services are in a position to access the constellation of communications and Earth observation satellites belonging to ISRO with everything going as planned. The Indian Navy hopes to get its first exclusive satellite sometime later this year. Last year, Indian Defence Minister had informed that the Indian Navy will get a dedicated satellite system for reliable, robust and foolproof communications. The satellite, codenamed GSAT-7, is being built by ISRO for launch later this year. While Indian Navy sources have confirmed the launch of this satellite, ISRO continues to maintain its silence. Being a civilian space agency, the ISRO has no mandate to give a strategic edge to its satellite development program. Meanwhile, the Indian Defence Forces would stand to benefit from the upcoming launch of Kartasa 2B which will feature an Earth imaging system of less than 1 meter resolution. The Kartasa 2B is poised for launch by means of PSLV during the first half of this year. Kartasa series of satellites are built and launched by ISRO though officially meant for cartographic purposes including urban planning and infrastructure development could effective serve as a dual-use system. Of course, the Kartasa series falls short of the 10 negative 15 cm resolution featured by the best of the current genre military satellites. The TES Technology Experiment satellite launched by ISRO with its 1 meter resolution is capable of distinguishing objects and details on Earth as small as 1 square kilometer and has been perceived to be India's unofficial reconnaissance satellite.
the TES data has helped the United States with high-resolution imageries for its counter-terrorism operations in the aftermath of 9 over 11. However, the launch of 300 kg RIS a T2 satellite realized by ISRO in association with Israel Aerospace Industries IAI in April has been viewed as a response to the insecurity complex generated by the 26 over 11 Mumbai attack by Pakistan trained terrorists. This all weather microwave earth imaging satellite equipped with synthetic aperture radar SAR is capable of collecting data under conditions of darkness, clouds, haze, and dust storm. The Indian Earth Observation satellites launched so far by ISRO were passive systems in that they were equipped to collect data only under the conditions of brightness. Though ISRO describes RIS a T2 as a civilian space system meant to enhance India's capability in Earth observation with special reference to floods, landslides, cyclones and disaster management, strategic analysts drive home the point that Indian Defence Forces could easily exploit the potentials of RIS. A T2 to boost their intelligence gathering capability in a big way for Earth observation and surveillance are considered the two faces of the same coin. As envisaged now the Indian Defence Forces could easily use RIS a T2 data to keep a tab on troops built up along India's borders with China and Pakistan. In particular, RIS a to revisit capability of 4 to 5 days is considered advantageous in the dynamic monitoring of the developments of strategic importance. Added to that the highly agile RISAEII can be maneuvered to change its viewing angle as per the requirements of its users. Thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe.